Utility is something that need not be overlooked in Comrade Defense Fort 3, something that many weapons aid in. The Rescue Ranger, the Escape Plan, the Pain Train, the Home Wrecker, all of these are meant for their utility and not as much as their damage output. Sure, with every stock melee swing, you can deal a whole whopping 65 damage, and critical hits are more common than pollen in the sunny southern part of the United States, but melee in TF2 is usually a pretty bad choice. That leaves room in the melee slot for our beloved utility. Look at some of the melee weapons in the game. Aside from the ones I've already mentioned, there's also the Gloves of Running Urgently, the Candy Cane, Disciplinary Action, arguably all of NG's wrenches, but I wouldn't go that far. The point is, melee is rarely used for damage output it would seem. So what are we to do about one of the worst melee weapons in the game? The Sharpened Volcano Fragment. I don't play Pyro often, but I've been against the best and the worst that this game has to offer. I want to try to find at least one upside to the weapon. I know I've given the Brass Beast and Hydro a thorough ripping, without many upsides, but that's because I couldn't get a lot of info on Hydro, and the Brass Beast is far too situational to recommend using all of the time. I'm going to really, really try here, so let's get burning. My name is Cody, and I'm here to ask one simple question, and hopefully get one simple answer. How bad could it be? As I was saying, many melee weapons are used as utilities. Sure, the Rescue Ranger that I mentioned isn't quite a melee weapon, but it's also a good example. Melee in the game is strictly unorthodox. I know I pull it out only in certain situations, like when killing a spy, even if it's really dumb to do that. Engineer and Demo Knights are actually the only two classes, and one's a subclass, mind you, that actually make any use of their melee weapon outside of strict and pure utility. Did you forget about me? I'm not considering the wrenches building and healing mechanics as utility because those are just basic game mechanics. Even in the instances where people pull out their melee, it's usually because of the utility that comes from melee combat, like the Uber Saw. With that, let's explain why the sharpened volcano fragment is so hated. It sets people on fire, and has a 20% damage penalty. Dude, I don't know if I can get this to 10 minutes. Seriously, that's it. That's all it does. Now are you ready for the word of the day, kids? What is it? Redundancy. The Volcano Fragment is redundant. The way it rewards you for using it is by setting people on fire. I mean, that's unique. The Pyro having a weapon that sets people on fire? The Pyro doesn't have any other weapons that do that infinitely better, now does he? He does, spoiler alert. In fact, the Fragment is probably worse than literally every other Pyro melee. The Extinguisher is great for a finishing blow after setting someone on fire. The Stock is great for a finishing blow and having consistent damage output, if you're into that kind of thing. The Home Wrecker and Neon Annihilator can break sappers, the Third Degree can hit anyone connected via a Medibeam, and the only other contestant for worst pyro melee is the Hot Hand, but even it has utility in gaining a speed boost when you hit an enemy. The Volcano Fragment is a gimmick. It does what pyro can already do super well. The only good situation I could see this weapon being good in is if you're all out of ammo for both primary and secondary weapons, you don't have the thermal thruster equipped, and you really need afterburn damage specifically. And that fills my quota for having one possible good upside. That one situation. I won't lie, I feel remiss. I feel like the weapon has secret uses that only a competitive pyromane that didn't pretend he was dead for three years could make use of. I know, it's short, but it's not like I have a lot to work with now, do I? On offense situations, I never used it. In defense situations, I never used it. Fighting spies, I never used it. The Volcano Fragment feels like a handicap more than a weapon, honestly.
I want to propose a change to the volcano fragment. The volcano fragment does need something to make it worth using, and I was able to find something. A user on the Steam forums suggested a really swell idea, making the volcano fragment a market gardener type weapon for the pyro. This would tack on the ability to deal an increased damage while flare jumping, explosive jumping, or using a jetpack. The extra damage would scale to the height you gained while doing any of the jumps while also giving it a slower swing speed. Honestly, it's not a huge change, and I feel like it could still leave much desired in many departments. And it is a gimmick, but at least it has a better gimmick, right? And as the same user pointed out, it would entice new players to learn how to perform a flare jump. But wait, there's more! I refuse to let this episode be that short, so let's cover a bonus topic briefly that I can't make a full episode out of simply because it's just not possible or as infamous as it used to be. So consider this a twofer episode. Sorry, bro. In a live stream I did recently, me and a viewer discussed possible weapon rebalances. This viewer also suggested the reserve shooter on Pyro. He had some ideas on how to fix it, however, at some point during Jungle Inferno, I believe, they removed the ability to mini-crit airblasted targets, making it only capable of mini-critting targets airborne by thermal thruster, explosive blasts, or grappling hooks. This means the reserve shooter is, in essence, null and void. It has no use on Pyro. He requires assistance from another class to utilize the gun to any effect, getting an eerily similar treatment as the sharpened Volcano Fragment's ugly cousin, the Sun on a Stick, which does have some use, but that's not to be discussed today. The reserve shooter merely handicaps Pyro unless you're going for some nice fun with a friend. And yeah, people launched by the Thermal Thruster can be mini-critted, but a Pyro can't equip both of them at the same time. It does deploy faster, and it has no damage penalty, but it does have a smaller clip size. So, for Pyro, it's just kind of a worse shotgun, but only because it has a smaller clip size. If you can work around a smaller clip size, it's a bit of an aesthetic lift from the stock shotgun, and other than that, the reserve shooter is pretty much useless on Pyro. In fact, I feel like if they were going to go this far, just make Pyro unable to equip the damn thing. The Volcano Fragment is bad, damn near useless in fact. It's redundant, and any department it could shine in, literally any of Pyro's flamethrowers or flare guns could shine in twice as bright. You may notice in the gameplay I've been showing, I rarely pull it out, and when I do, I just look at it. It's pretty, it has a cool design, but that doesn't really help in it being useful, does it? And the reserve shooter is simply too situational and requires a teammate to use effectively enough to make it worth equipping all of the time. Although, it may have some potential in killing an enemy attempting to surf an enemy rocket to safety. With that, I want to end the video by saying, I know I've been hitting down hard on some of these topics I've covered lately, so next time, I'm covering a weapon combo that I feel is actually great, and many people overlook it. I love the game, and I want to see it improve in any way it can. I've been Cody. Game over.